Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. Today's gonna be a really exciting day because we are going to give Cole cereal. Well, it's gonna be oatmeal. It's like the oatmeal cereal from Gerber. I'll show y'all the packaging. But I also just ran upstairs and got like our whole big, like a Tupperware of all the like feeding stuff I've purchased. Like I've just kind of been purchasing little things for starting solids over the last little bit and just kind of like storing them away. So we just got the oatmeal. I got down all like the spoons and the bowls and the bibs. And we're gonna kind of like start, I don't know, if, I mean, I guess that's considered a solid obviously because it's not a liquid, but in my mind, like solids is a little bit more like purees and like actual food foods, but obviously it is technically a solid and we've never done it before and we are so, so excited. I'm honestly like, I don't know why, not that I'm like rushing him growing up or anything, but I've just been so excited for him to start like eating food and getting to feed him and just experience that with him. I think I'm just like excited to watch him experience that and learn that and be a part of that with him. Obviously being a first time parent, like all of these new things are just so exciting to get to do and witness. So we're really, really excited. He just turned four months on, today's Saturday, he turned four months on Thursday. So he's like four months and two days old. So it's definitely like, yeah, a little bit on the early side I know obviously they say like between four and six months and I know there's like a lot of debate on that so we don't really need to get into that because I know everyone's baby's different and everyone has like different preferences and approaches and all that kind of stuff I've definitely done a lot of research on baby led weaning which I think we do want to like implement that but at the same time I do want to do some like spoon fed stuff as well like purees and meals and things like that I know rice cereal is not recommended so we're like skipping right past that and going right to like the iron fortified oats because I feel like that kind of is at least nutritionally a little bit better so I'm so excited I actually just pumped I have my LV here freaking love that thing it makes pumping so much easier so we can mix a little bit of breast milk with a little bit of the um, oats he definitely meets like the requirements for um, for the most part in terms of like being ready to start eating developmentally he is sitting up with support he definitely like leans toward a spoon he definitely like shows interest in eating he definitely can like support himself on his arms so like he definitely meets like the physical requirements for at least the cereal um, I also ordered for pickup at Target some like of the snacks like the puffs and like the little things that he can probably start working on maybe over the next couple weeks not right away we're just going to kind of teach him how to eat more or less I feel like that's kind of the point of the oatmeal and stuff is they don't usually end up swallowing much of it it's more of just like a textural and an oral function and those kind of things I'm very very excited to try this out I think we're just going to do a tiny bit here today and like maybe I don't know if we'll even do it once a day we're going to just kind of get our feet wet we obviously don't really know what we're doing in terms of like experience we've never done any of this but i've done a lot of research i've been reading i've like printed stuff out and highlighted it and i'm feeling comfortable enough at least starting here and then when it comes to purees and all those kind of things i definitely need to like keep doing my research and learn a little bit more but i just wanted to start off the video because i'm very excited i'm also going to be doing a video that's going to be called uh, cole's first bites and i'm just going to get like a couple seconds clip of like everything that he tries like just to document his first taste and his first reaction just to each individual thing and then i'm just going to like compile all that footage maybe every six months or something like that and just kind of have like a video like a bunch of little clips of him tasting a whole bunch of stuff i'm excited to do that i think that's gonna be fun so we'll start that today um and i also downloaded the solid starts app i don't know if y'all have heard of that this is not sponsored or anything like that i just heard about it and it seems really really handy in terms of like tracking food it gives you like suggestions on how to serve it based on like what age they are you're able to track what foods they've tried and when and like what their reactions were to it did they like it did they refuse it did they have any kind of weird allergic reaction to it and like it just seems like a really good way to keep track of their whole kind of like starting solids experience so i downloaded that you do have to pay for it but it's really really cheap and i think that's going to be a really big help for us being able to keep track of what, what we have given him what we haven't tried yet gives you ideas on what to try and all that kind of stuff so i'm very excited today's kind of a big day and i'm going to definitely document it so i'm wanting to organize this is kind of like the baby cabinet more or less so i kind of like cleared out some bottles sort of just i don't know kind of reorganized it a little bit i just grabbed a bunch of like my extra bins because i know i'm gonna need those and then this is kind of like my big <laughs> tupperware like storage container i just pulled out a couple new things we just placed an order with i don't know if this is bibadoo or bibadoo um but we got some like cutlery and bibs from them I pulled out these bibs and I think this is probably the bowls that we're gonna start off with because it has the little grip but then I also have I don't want to take this off because everything will fall but I also have a ton of other like bibs and spoons and plates and 
like all kinds of other stuff in here so i'm gonna have to kind of like get everything out of here figure out what's what obviously wash it and then kind of organize it in the bins and then kind of figure out what we're keeping where how we want to organize everything this is a little bit of a mess i also just got this in actually today this is the easy peasy mini mat which again obviously this is more for when he's a couple months older and he's actually like eating by himself but these are like kind of dumb expensive in my opinion i don't know about y'all but this was like I don't know, I want to say like $25, which seems like a lot for like a little plate that like suctions, but apparently they're just like the best ones and they actually stay put. So I figured it'd be better to have like a decent one rather than have ones that like, you know, don't actually say suctioned. So anyway, we have like those little like food feeders, the mesh ones. I actually just ordered some plastic ones that someone recommended. So anyway, I need to kind of organize this whole situation, but mm, I'm so excited. You know what I find kind of strange though? And I just noticed this today. Oh no, it's not this. It's the other spoons, the other munchkin spoons that I have say three months plus and then these bowls also say three months plus which is confusing to me because I'm pretty sure like 99.99% of the world's in agreement that babies don't eat like solids before four months so like what why would we need like a spoon or a bowl to be approved for three month olds if they're not supposed to be eating with bowls or spoons when they're three months that confused me <gasps> my guy is back he was on a walk with Ken. He like fell asleep while we were walking. So Ken like kept walking and I came home to get a little work done and pump and do a couple things. Like this guy took a little nap in the stroller. Are you excited to try your oatmeal? Are you too excited? Y'all, I don't think I have actually given an update at all. We went to his um, four month, like check up his four month like pediatrician appointment on Thursday, exactly when he turned, okay. That was a spit up situation. Um, it was the day he turned four months and he got, you know, obviously more vaccines and stuff, which is hard for me to watch, but it really honestly wasn't that bad. And he wasn't really in too bad of shape. Like he was a little out of sorts for like the next day and, or like that day and the next day, but he was fine. The doctors and the nurses, everyone could not believe his size. Y'all, he was 19 and a half pounds at his four month appointment. Literally all the nurses, the doctor, everyone was like thinking that the paperwork was wrong in terms of like the fact that this was his four month appointment. We had to call and get his like Tylenol dosage and the nurse had to like double and triple check his weight because she like didn't <laughs> believe that that was his weight. Even the doctor came in, she's like, you look like nine months old or six months old or whatever. Like <laughs> literally everyone just kept seeing him and they were like, big baby, he's huge. Everyone just kept commenting on his size and like, yeah, he is in like, I think for his pretty much everything, his head, his height and his weight he's between like the 95th and the 97th percentile so like yeah he's big but like i would think that nurses and doctors see you know all different kinds of size babies and the fact that they probably see big babies pretty often and they were so like so shocked at his size makes me feel like he's like really big like if he's surprising them then like that must mean something but i don't know to us like yeah i mean he's only four months and i know like almost 20 pounds is heavy but like we've never had a baby before so to us it like it doesn't seem weird or, or i don't know it feels totally normal he looks very proportionate he doesn't seem gigantic to us but we don't have any frame of reference so i guess he is but he doesn't feel like it and he's still wearing like clothes in his normal age range like he's four months old and he's wearing three to six month clothes so i don't know he seems like a normal sized baby to me but i guess you a big boy Everybody say so. <laughs> yeah, see how this one says three months? That is so weird to me. These are cool though. It like tells you if the food is too hot. Obviously we're not heating up the oatmeal, but I thought that was kind of funny. All right, y'all are very ratchetly just balanced on my diaper bag. <laughs> so we're gonna open this. The little paperwork that I have says to do one tablespoon of like the cereal or oatmeal or whatever to like three or four tablespoons of breast milk or i guess formula i didn't think i was gonna be nervous to feed him but like now i feel like i might be spoon and we just washed all of this and everything so it's super clean and then let's get the breast milk out of the handy dandy i'll be oh sorry honey i should have given you my pump parts whoopsie all right i feel like one tablespoon of that to three or four tablespoons of milk is like gonna be really watery but i mean i think it's supposed to be watery so are people grossed out by seeing breast milk no right really that's one tablespoon two tablespoons let's just start there let's see what that's like oh my gosh this is giving me flashbacks to the triplets oh, really? they always were having this stuff i fed them so much of this stuff all the time all right, so it definitely needs a little bit more. I don't. I think three will be fine. What are you doing? No, maybe it does need more. I don't know. I wish that there was a video. I want to know how loose is this supposed to be. If it's too loose, I feel like it won't even. Okay, that seems good. So that was probably like three and a half tablespoons of breast milk. All right, 
Here's what it's looking like. It's like very, very watery. So I think this should be good, right? Are you ready, Huli? Let's do it. This is a big deal. So these, by the way, these have this, so you can like hold it. Oh, brilliant. You can't get pulled out of your hand super easily. Oh, he's already interested. Are you ready, honey? I, that is the best face. Uh oh, here we go. Donation. All right. All right, good. See how this is like has like a collar on it, so it covers like his chest, his shoulders. <laughs> All right, Coley. Hey, Coley. Cole. Go grab it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any of that actually made it. This is kind of fun. Though. Your hand's in the way. <laughs> this is a great, a great reaction okay. shot. What do you think, huh? What do you think, Coley? He's like, M milk is just easy. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Dude. Do you like it? I mean, it seems like he wants more, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's just spitting it all back out. Okay, yeah. all right. Okay, all right. Okay. Yeah, none of this is going in the belly. I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, all right. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> this is good sounds. I like the noises that we have going on. I mean, he seems excited about it. Yeah. Oh, jeez, what a mess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you like it? Okay. Uh, okay. You wanna do some? Hey guy. Oh jeez. Yeah. Are you? Do you have your fingers through the thing? All right. Boo ba doo ba doo. What do you think? You looking for more? I know, I think he's kinda interested. What, buddy? Coley, 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 here it comes, don't, don't, no. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> Just let it happen. <laughs> oh. Hi, cute baby. Hi, are you gonna help me do some cooking? We're about to cook a whole bunch of home chef meals. But I wanted to show y'all, it's the next day um, from yesterday when we did his first taste of food. But I showed y'all like all the stuff I had down here and I kind of more or less organized it into this cabinet. We actually got rid of like, well not got rid of, but we just kind of packed away a bunch of the bottles because he gets bottles so infrequently and he only really uses like one or two different types. So I kind of eliminated the number of bottles we're keeping in here. The two bowls that we've been using basically are gonna go right here. I was actually just reading these, but I'm storing our little baby food cookbooks right there. I just put them back in there for the purposes of showing y'all. This bin has all different bibs, like the cloth ones, the plastic ones, basically bibs galore. And then next to it, these are obviously gonna come out of their packaging eventually. I kind of just threw everything in here for the time being. I have a couple of like the little suction bowls and the little like sectioned bowls. And then there's like some silicone placemats and stuff like that back there. And then up here again, everything's still packaged up, but that will change. We just have some different like Sippy slash straw cups back there. Oh, yes, exactly. Are you excited to use these things? And then we have a couple of his um, busy baby mats, some more like bowls. That's a kind of a little like puree spoon feeder thing. And then up here, I just put his little like cactus, like a little brush set back up. It's the actual like drying mat. This is that easy peasy mat I showed y'all. And then some of the bigger like medium and fast flow nipples for the bottles that we use. This is kind of how I threw everything in here for now. It's, it's organized, but obviously it's not like the most, it doesn't make all the most sense because a lot of things are still in their package 
packaging and once I take them out of their packaging and kind of move things around I think it'll make a little bit more sense for now everything's accessible and I can kind of take inventory of what we have and what we still need oh I didn't mention in this little container we have all the different like spoons like I don't know the ones he can use ones that are for when he starts eating the ones that we've been using I just kind of put all the different spoons yeah <laughs> I put those all in there. So this is the cabinet situation so far. This is not how it's gonna stay. Was there anything else you wanted to add to that? Not right now? Oh, did you want your toy back? There you go. Good job. Um, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> and also we just got back. It's like the rainiest day of all time, but we just got back from Krispy Kreme. Oh, they have Twix donuts right now. So good. And I'm actually just opening an Amazon package that has some other relevant stuff. So I figured since we're talking about it, I might as well quickly show y'all. Someone um, that I used to go to school with actually I used to work with her, she recommended this one, which is very similar, but this is like a plastic, like a silicone one. So you can fill this up with, you know, purees or whatever. And apparently these are just a little bit easier to clean and they can kind of like squeeze this. And then it comes out the little holes in this part. And then she also recommended these. Again, kind of similar to the mesh ones. I think these ones are more meant for like kind of whole, like slices and little chunks of fruit. Whereas this is maybe meant for things that are maybe a little bit more like soft, like applesauce and kind of things along those lines. That's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna have to like read the directions and everything. But again, these both say three months plus. <gasps> Who's giving their babies these at three months? I don't understand. I feel like nobody really does that. But this is really cool. These are both from Amazon, so I can link these. What's cool about these is it comes with two of these little feeders, but it's basically just like, you know, a little squishy ball at the end of like this little handle. And it comes with two of these like contraptions and then a bunch of different size little like squishy balls. So as they get bigger, like the holes get a little bit bigger and they can obviously get a little bit more out. So it has six different pouches, like it says right here, for all the different sizes, small, medium, and large. So this is something you can just buy once and then you don't have to keep adding and replacing like as he grows. It's kind of like an all-in-one thing. And I don't know about this one. This only comes with the one top. But anyway, I thought this was cool that it comes with a bunch of different sizes. So I will add these to the cabinet as well. Okay, we just got back from a little walk. It has been raining all day, like torrentially downpouring all day, but it finally stops for a little bit. So we thought we would run outside and take our chance to get a walk in because we go for a walk literally every single day and we don't like to miss it. I feel like Cole looks forward to it. We enjoy it. Um, A crazy thing happened today. Oh, I did want to mention also because I feel like this vlog is mostly about Cole trying his first solid foods. We did do a little bit more oatmeal this morning and I feel like he actually ate it this morning. Like I feel like a lot less of it just came back out and more of it like it went in. <laughs> Like it wasn't constantly getting spit out so I can only assume he swallowed at least a tiny bit of it We did a lot less than yesterday. I didn't even do I did probably half a tablespoon and like some milk with it Just because a lot of it got wasted yesterday and it didn't like he wasn't eating it So it didn't seem like there was any reason to just kind of throw that much down the drain So we did a lot less and he still only ate about half of it before he like started getting annoyed at the whole process But I think he actually like ate some and swallowed some so I feel like that's kind of a progress But we're gonna obviously keep playing with it keep trying it out we're just kind of playing around and like learning and having fun and really a good time we're enjoying it but a crazy thing happened this morning at breakfast actually like right before we've had coal um we were sitting down to have breakfast and we heard like a really weird noise like it sounded like a bird but we have tons of birds but it just sounded different and closer and i was like what is that noise like there must be a bird really close by and then nala so our cat that has both eyes she's not like really as active as willie she's a lot older and she's just not as like curious as him but she was at the back door like looking out it and like making kind of weird noises and kind of like leaning towards it and she doesn't typically do that like Willie does that he'll do that if he sees a fly outside like he's always jumping at the windows and the doors but Nala doesn't do that so uh, Ken went over and was like what is she looking at there was it's called the Cooper's Hawk if you guys are like bird people we are definitely bird people but there was a Cooper's Hawk and it had caught a European starling and it was literally just like sitting on the starling on our patio like it had it in its claws or its talons or whatever you call that and it was just sitting there I'll put a picture here on the screen Ken took a picture and I took a video it was crazy I thought he was videoing so I'm glad that I actually filmed because he only got like two pictures but mine I took the video like behind our little curtain so you honestly can't see that well but his pictures are decent but we have a ton of European starlings here so I'm not surprised that that's what it caught but we have never seen that hawk before we have a lot of red-tailed and red-shouldered hawks but the Cooper's hawk is actually pretty small 
and we didn't recognize it at first we had to look it up but it's a pretty small bird and the european starling is not that small it's probably like maybe half the size of it maybe a little more than half the size of it and it like i don't know if it caught it on the patio or if it like swooped in and caught it somewhere else and then like landed on the patio or like killed it on the patio it wasn't eating it or anything thank goodness but it was like right outside the door like Ken was like there's a hawk on our patio and I was like what are you talking about and that's what Nala was like freaking out about and she was she was like feet from it obviously she was on the other side of the door but it was very very close to us so y'all saw that picture it looks crazy like it's a small hawk it's not like it was something giant but it just had this poor dead I think it was dead dead bird like in its feet and it was just like sitting there not doing anything and then we didn't make any noise or anything i don't think we scared it but then eventually it just like flew off with the bird like in its claws it just like took it and i guess obviously went to go eat it or something or whatever i don't know if they do that on the ground or in the trees i don't know it was wild it was like some national geographic type thing it was insane such a cool thing i mean i, I wish i i mean i don't really love that it like killed a bird but i obviously understand like that's nature and whatnot but it was crazy i don't like to see dead birds honestly we had a dead kitten in our road the other day which was also really like disturbing for me to see so i didn't love it but at the same time it was kind of cool and fascinating at the same time i don't know kind of a weird crazy thing so i wanted to also mention that little story time because it was wild but anyway i just prepped a ton of meals i did like three or four dinners i just prepped up with cole earlier so i cooked dinner already i cooked dinner for the next couple of days ken is getting cooled down for like his last little short nap of the day we're about to eat dinner while he naps and that's probably gonna be it for this vlog i really just want to document like the big milestone of him trying out his first foods i actually filmed two videos today also well in addition to like this vlog i filmed two videos this morning during one nap he took an epic like hour and a half nap which is extremely extremely rare but it was so perfect it's almost like he knew I needed him to do that because I got two videos filmed in the time that he was napping I usually like can't even get two videos filmed in one day period let alone like in one sitting during one nap that's never happened in his whole entire life so that was awesome because I got it done uninterrupted and I didn't like miss out on time with him like I feel better about doing things while he's sleeping and not like having to miss out on being with him so that was glorious honestly like I've been in such a good mood all day because he got a really good nap in our nights have been horrible still lately like we're still in the throes of this four month sleep regression so night sleep has not been good but the naps have not been terrible honestly he is going down for naps so much easier he is not like a terrorist during nap time anymore he like whimpers a little bit but he goes down for naps fairly easily it's a little bit hard to put him down lately like transferring him has been very difficult like getting him out of our arms i think that's kind of part of the sleep regression they don't sleep as deeply you know starting at like this age so i feel like moving him from our arms into the bassinet or the crib or whatever has been a lot more difficult lately which is obviously why we want to start eventually sleep training him so that he's falling asleep in the crib and we don't have to do a transfer rather than him falling asleep on us and then doing a transfer so that will come in due time for sure but the nap situation is getting better the night situation is still pretty bad frankly we're kind of tired a lot of the time most of the time last night wasn't horrible actually he really only woke up twice to eat besides his dream feed so it's not like terrible terrible i guess you could say it's getting better but it's still not very good so i'm just really excited when a we get naps that are fairly easy like we don't have to fight with him about it and then the fact that he's been sleeping for like 40 minutes to an hour to an hour and a half like that's a huge game changer a huge improvement and it makes my life so much better even if he's only doing like three naps instead of four nowadays i will take like two or three long naps obviously over four or even five really short like half hour naps I will take that trade literally any day and i was just in such a good mood today and so much less stressed out knowing i could get some work done all while he naps without like having to worry about him i mean i was still worried about him waking up a little but without having to be like interrupted which is a little bit stressful having to like film the video and a lot of different like segments kind of broken up and it made me feel so good knowing i could just sit down bang out my work and like not miss out on time with him it was amazing so i've been in a great mood today it was fantastic except when we went to Krispy Kreme, like i showed y'all we went to get the twix donuts and then didn't even have the ones that we ordered online like they didn't have the ones we wanted so we paid for donuts that they didn't even have so we ended up just getting different ones and then they gave us like these two little mini ones that they had just because they felt bad i guess but i was a little bit bummed because we really like we drove to Krispy Kreme just to specifically get these two donuts that they didn't have and i'm just bummed out that they didn't have the ones we wanted that was a little bit of a bummer but for the most part today has been really really good i kind of like like dreary cold rainy days i'm glad we got a walk in the donuts were still delicious i got work done cole is napping like Things are good, life is good. I'm honestly just in like such a good mood today. That's been our day and our weekend. I hope that y'all enjoyed this vlog. I kind of need to like address my hair. It's a little bit 
cray cray. But I hope that you all enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching. If you would like to subscribe, we would love to have you. We have so much fun here. And until next time, I will see y'all in our next video. Bye guys.